From soaring rocket launches to stumbling robots, this is Tech Weekly. Blue Origin launched its new Glenn rocket with two NASA satellites bound for Mars. The powerful two-stage rocket, standing 32 stories tall, blasted off from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, and it achieved the return landing of its reusable booster for the first time. It marks the first mission flown by the Jeff Bezos-owned Blue Origin since New Glenn's test launch in January. The successful booster landing is a key milestone for the firm as it tries to compete with Elon Musk's SpaceX. Apple has stepped up its succession plans as it prepares for CEO Tim Cook to step down as soon as next year. That's according to a report in Britain's Financial Times, which cited several people familiar with discussions. Apple insiders were quoted as saying the company's board had recently intensified preparations for Cook to move on after more than 14 years at the helm. Apple did not immediately respond to a Reuters request for comment. Move over, Max Verstappen. These racing cars are driverless. TUM Racing claimed their second Abu Dhabi Autonomous Racing League championship title after navigating a dramatic 20-lap finale. It showcased the rapid advancements in autonomous vehicle technology over the league's two seasons. A key highlight for the season finale was the return of the Human VAI Challenge, which saw former Formula One driver Daniel Kivat once again take on TUM's AI car. AI finished fractions of a second ahead, although it did have a 10-second head start. Google says it plans to build a data hub on Australia's tiny Christmas island, which lies some 220 miles south of Indonesia. The tech giant confirmed plans for the facility, along with a subsea cable system linking the island to the Maldives and Oman. Google said the hub would share its digital infrastructure with local users. The first Russian humanoid robot powered by AI stumbled on stage during its debut walkout in Moscow. Russian media quoted Vladimir Vitukin, CEO of the tech company which developed the robot, as saying he hoped that the mistake would turn into an experience.